What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, group builds. I just, I can't, I can't say no. I, I, I might have a, I might have a problem, guys. I might have a problem. Um, so, you've probably already guessed it by looking at the thumbnail. Uh, this is my entry video into the Porsche group build. That's being hosted by Chuck over at Chuck's Hobby Spot. This gentleman right here. Uh, and my good buddies, Lucas C. and Mr. BG. Um, you might be saying to yourself, Self, why would Jason jump into another group build? He already has uh, the Street Machine group build. Um, and the Whirly Bird group build going on. Uh, I have also thrown my hat into the Mustang group build. Uh, I have I have to build a, a Club Challenge Lamborghini and a uh, what is the should have been 30th 30s Street Rods Club challenge for the show, my classic plastic show. Five is five. Five group, five builds I'm already committed to. Um, and now the Porsche group build. Oh, and not, let's not forget that there's uh, at least two more group builds coming up that I'm going to want to jump into. Anyway, uh, this should be fun. Um, Porsche is one of my favorite cars. Um, and I've had this kit sitting here in my stash uh, for a while. And I keep looking over at it and I keep thinking, man, I want to build that. I'd really like to build that kit, but I don't have time. Uh, and then along comes uh, the Porsche group build. And I say to myself... I'm doing it. Uh, this is the excuse. This is the perfect excuse to build this kit. So, what kit am I building? No, it's not a. It's not a 911. As much as I would love uh, to build the 911, I've built a couple. Um, this is the last one I built actually here on the channel. It was a very fun build. Had a lot of fun with this car. Uh, oh, let me hold that up for you a little bit longer. Had a lot of fun with that, um, but I'm not going to do another nine, nine, another 911. I am going to do this Porsche 904. I love this car. And when I found this kit, I was ecstatic to be able to pick up this kit. Sealed in the box. Uh, so, <clears throat> real quick before I open up the kit and I show you... Um, a little bit on the... I want you to go to Chuck's um, channel. It's linked in the description of this video. I want you to go there and watch his video uh, where he explains everything you need to know about the group build. Um, but, real quick, a quick summary. Um, anything Porsche, it can be a started kit. Runs from July 1st to September 30th. So that's a, that's a pretty good amount of time. So we should be able to get this done. Uh, without an issue. Um, anyway, uh, so let's open this thing up really quick. Uh, and um, I'm not going to flip the camera around or any of that. But I'm going to open it up and I'll show you what it is. How, how about some glare, guys? Holy cow. Um, so. Get old hobby knife. Cut that open. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Love that. Love the smell of that plastic. This is a 1991 kit, by the way, guys. Um, sealed in. Good grief. It fought me a little bit. It didn't want to be opened. It said, no, don't open me. Too bad. All right. So, right off the bat... Love these little cards. Free catalog. I saved these. These are cool. 
Uh, oh, okay. This kit is molded in some different colors. Well, that's different. I didn't expect that. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Still in the bags. So let's open her up. Let's open her up and see what we got. Do what Heather does. Throw that on the floor. Uh, okay, so this tree, you get your rear body work. It's molded in silver. Um, you would think, wow, that, that's cool. You don't even have to paint it. Well, you kind of do because it's got the the mold injection streaks and stuff in it. So, yeah, it's got to be painted. Even though I don't understand why they mold stuff like that. Just mold it in white, guys. Anyway, so the rear bulkhead section, some parts on there. That's that tree right there. Then you've got more body panels, wheel backs, spindles and brakes there. Not a lot to this kit, which is pretty cool. And then you've got uh -huh, the belly pan. Some other pieces and parts. Vents and whatnot. Pretty cool. Then you've got the front bodywork. Some more suspension pieces by the looks of it. That's a fuel tank. Got a little bit of flash right there that we gotta clean off. Looks pretty good though. The body looks really good. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So there's that bag. You've got your Got some clear parts. Is that all that's there for clear parts? That doesn't make sense. Hmm. Clear parts there. Side windows, headlight covers that. Where the heck is the windshield in this thing? <clears throat> oh, there it is. Fell off the tree. So there's the windshield. It actually looks pretty good for being loose in there. So there's that. Uh, chrome trees, got the chrome wheels. Those are cool wheels. Those are really cool wheels. I love the um, kind of outlawish look to this car that it had. Um, it was very much a race car. And I've looked online and I some people paint them up like street cars. Some people paint them up like race cars. I, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I have no idea. Don't Not even sure on the color. But there's the chrome tree. You got your carburetors. You got your wheels. Um, looks like valve covers, side engine covers, whatever you want to call them on the air cold and uh, poor stuff. So that's that. Uh... Getting a little ahead of myself here. There's another bag with stuff in it. This video is getting a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. So this stuff is molded in dark gray. You got seats, rear bulkhead, um, don't know what that is, but it's off the tree. Look at that flash. Look, it looks like a radar dish. Um, frame rail, suspension pieces, little doodads, bebobs, whatever you want to call them. Um, steering wheel, spring, suspension arms, looks like a steering column. That kind of stuff there. Uh... Looks like engine parts, dashboard, that other piece. It must be an inside panel or something like that. Sway bars, that kind of stuff. Uh, 
That's that. On the floor. Oh, almost knocked everything on the floor. Uh, ugh. Gonna have to do something with the decal sheet. This decal sheet's crunchy. That's okay. I'll put some on. Um, if I go race car route, I'll put some other numbers or something on it. Not a big deal. But there's your decal sheet. Uh, hard rubber. Hard rubber tires. Four of them. No name. Tires. Kind of decent looking tread. There's four of those. And then you got your... Typical Ravel monogram instruction sheet. There it is. Um, lots of little pieces. It's a little car, so I expect that. Yeah, those pa those panels are side panels for the interior, so that's pretty neat. So that's that's it in, the, in a nutshell. Quick, quick and dirty. Um, I'm undecided on a color. Uh, it will be built box stock. I'm not going to add a lot of detail, only because I don't I don't think I have time uh, to do it justice. But it'll be a really good. Um, actually, I was going to say it'd be a really good build for a box stock category at a show. But I don't know if I use different decals that would make it not box stock. I don't know. Either way, it's going to be pretty much out of the box. Um, look for updates uh, here and there on color and build and stuff like that. But looks like a halfway decent little kit, guys. So there's my entry. Uh, go check out Chuck's Hobby Spot for the official video for this. Um, and wish me luck on getting yet another build done before the end of the year um like i said there is the september 30th uh deadline but you know sometimes i think deadlines are like suggestions you know what i mean it's like it is what it is thanks for watching uh drop a comment give me a thumbs up as always go check out market hobby nut models he's got a bunch of porsche kits over there if you wanted to jump in on this and you don't happen to have a kit so go check out his website um and yeah, we'll talk to you again on the next one, coming up really soon. Bye, guys.